Hi, my name is Sharon, and today I will be talking about some of the experiments that were done to correct the genetic code. First, let's look at the central dogma. The double-stranded DNA is transcribed into single-stranded RNA. RNA is then translated into proteins. We will be focusing on a translation segment for this video. According to the results of the Berner and Kirk's experiments, we found out that a codon consists of three non-overlapping nucleotides. We also know that there are 20 amino acids and there are four nucleotides. So if you do the math, you will find out that there are 64 possible codons. So then the question becomes, which three letter combination codes for which of the 20 amino acids? To answer this question, we will look at an experiment done by Nuremberg and Mattei. These are some of the materials that they used for their experiment. So for their experiment, they used a poly-U mRNA, which is just a long chain of solely U nucleotides. They added a cell-free extract, which is just a mixture of basically all the things that you could find in a cell, like the cytoplasm and the ribosome. And they also added that to the test tube. Then they added 19 natural amino acids and the 20th containing radioactive characteristics. They prepared 19 other test tubes, each with a different radioactive amino acid. So in total, they made 20 tubes for 20 parallel experiments an experimentation of a poly-U mRNA. After the reaction occurred, they isolated the polypeptides to test them for radioactivity. What resulted from this experiment was that the radioactive label was only present in the tube that had radioactive phenylalanine amino acid in it. So they knew that UUU codon translated into phenylalanine. They repeated this experiment with a poly-A, poly-C, and poly-G mRNAs to find out what those mRNAs coded for. And these are the results of that experiment. But this experiment only cracked code for three out of 64 combination of nucleotides. We still had 61 more codons to translate. So later joined Nuremberg in 1964 to do some more experimentations. These are the material that they used for their experiments. They prepared a test tube containing ribosome, a synthesized mRNA, and tRNAs which attached amino acids to them. Again, 19 natural amino acids and one with radioactive abilities. And they let it incubate. After incubation, they pass the mixture through a nitrocellulose filter. This filter will allow everything to pass through it except the radioactive amino acid on the tRNA paired with ribosome-bound mRNA. Then they assayed the filter to find out which amino acid was bound. They repeated this process for all the other codons to find out which codon translated into which amino acid. So by the end of the set of the experiment, they were able to find out which amino acid did each of the 61 codon code for.